Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Ipsy bag. But first, as always, let's go over the stuff that I got last month so I can show you guys what I think of it, if it's worth purchasing in the full size, or if I have a full size, whatever. Uh, first off, I got three sheet masks from BioRepublic. Let me click on here real quick and see what exactly they were. One was Cucumber Breeze, which I gave away because I despise the smell of cucumber. I've gone over that before. One was a Green Tea Detox, which was nice, but nothing too special. Uh, the one that I actually really liked was the Aloe Rescue. Now, these masks are super saturated. You would not have to complain about you getting one dry because mine were all soaking wet. Like, they made me cold in my bedroom. They were so wet. But the Aloe Rescue was actually really nice to put on after being out in the sun all day, which I was the day that I got it. So that's always good. Sorry, I'm trying to get back to the page that I was on. I always have my Ipsy bag from the previous month pulled up so that I can tell, you know, names and stuff like that. The next thing I have, unfortunately, I still don't know the color, uh, the name of the color. It is the JCat Beauty Lipitude Hydrating Lip Balm, Lip Stain. It's a lip stain. The thing is, I don't think this is really a lip stain, at least not in the traditional sense. It is very much like a liquid lipstick. There is the small swatch of it right there. It smells really nice and minty, so I had no issues wearing this. Now, despite this not really qualifying as what I would call a lip stain, this does last a really long time, and it did last me through a meal at a restaurant. So, I really like this. Um, I've had kind of issues with stuff I've gotten from JCap Beauty in the past, but this one I really did like. Uh, something that I wound up not really enjoying was the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. It's the black one. And I know some people really swear by this, but my problem is the tip. It picks up a lot of product, so I have to, you know, swipe it off. And maybe I'm just not that good with liquid eyeliner, but the, the brush is super flimsy. And I'm just not very good with it. I usually wind up pulling out too... The first time I used it, I pulled out way too much, so I learned that have, you have to wipe the product off, which still annoys me. But this is a really inexpensive liner, so I guess if you want a really inexpensive one that you can get really easily at the drugstore, this is fine. I just did not personally enjoy it, so I will use this up, but I would not purchase personally. And something that I did really like, I just kind of wish I'd gotten a different color, is the Tristique mini shadow crayon. Mine is in Kona Coffee and as you can see it looks like it's a open stick but that is the packaging which I thought was really cute. Here is the color. It is a super dark brown. That is a swatch right there and I did not use this as a eyeshadow crayon. I actually took a brush and used this as an eyeliner and this works really really nicely as an eyeliner and I've heard from other people that got more wearable all over the lid colors that this works really nicely as an all over the lid color. So I'm actually really curious to investigate this brand a little bit. I don't have the coupon or whatever it is for it anymore, but the next time I feel like buying some stuff online, I might check this out. And lastly, I have my sample of the Smashbox Photo Ready Found Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And it's still full. And the reason for that is because I cannot use this in the summer. I know that these kind of silicone primers work great for some people, but I have really oily skin. As you can see, I'm pretty shiny right now, even though I powdered recently. That is because it is 97 degrees outside with like 100% humidity where I live. So during the winter and early spring, I can totally use this and then I will, but this is not something that I could use in the summer. Anyways, out with the old and with the new. And I will say this is a really cute kind of canvasy bag. So that's that's a step in the that's a good step in the right direction for Ipsy because sometimes they send me some ugly ass bags. First off, the thing that I was super excited to get, this is a miniature of the Tarte bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And I cannot tell if this is the matte one or the shimmery one. Because when I swatch it, I see a sheen to it. So I'm guessing this is the shimmery version. I've used the matte version before and I really liked it. 
So I'm sure I could totally like warm up my face with this. So I'm really happy to get this. This alone pays for the bag. Like just, I did the math on this sample at one point and it's worth over $10. So really happy that I got that. Let's see. Next, I have the Be A Bombshell Lip Balm in Ruby. It's in a box. Here is the lip balm itself, just that straight black Be A Bombshell packaging. Doesn't really have a smell to it, and you guys know I'm kind of sensitive to smell, so if I smelled it, I could tell you. Looks a lot like the Cherry Me lip balm from the Baby Lips Maybelline line, so I'm excited to try that. And be a bombshell, I don't know if it's worth the price, but it's kind of expensive, so. And I believe that is full size. Let's see, next I have an Avene cleansing gel. This is some kind of face wash. Let me, because the back of it is in French, I can't read how I'm supposed to use it. Like what it's for. So let's actually, you know, read the thing. This deep penetrating soap free cleanser eliminates impurities and excessive sebum without stripping the skin. With the triple action formula, including the patented active ingredient, glyceryl laurate, sebum and oil production are inhibited and the bacteria responsible for blemishes is diminished, resulting in healthy blemish free skin. So that's cool and it's a nice good size. It is a travel size basically, so I didn't get a full size, but that's fine. Let's see. Okay, this, I, this is the next thing I got. It is the Jurel Parker Rollerball Perfume. I was really nervous about this because they have sent me some stinky perfumes in the past. I do like that usually when Ipsy sends you a perfume, they send you a rollerball. They don't send you a little sprayer that you could totally get from just like Sephora. Let's see, I believe the name of it is Classico. And I do really like the scent of this. It's like you know berries and floral rolled in one because if you guys have followed my videos in the past i can't tolerate super florally scents they just don't agree with me but this smells really nice so i am really excited to have that even though i have too many perfumes as it is and finally i hope i didn't just hit the camera ah, that time i know i did let's straighten you guys back out Finally, we have the Ofra Cosmetics Bliss Eyeshadow, and I'm showing you the wrong side. It's like, yay, you're seeing packaging. It is technically an eyeshadow and highlighter if you have the right shade of skin. And I will say, this is now probably broken. Hold up one second. Okay, I didn't break it. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Kind of embarrassing enough as it is, but this is the highlighter right here. I don't know how well my lighting is picking it up, but it's kind of a bronzy gold shade. I think this is a little bit too dark for me to use as a highlighter, personally. Oh yeah. Heck, I could almost use that as a bronzer, actually. And I believe the back of it is magnetized. I do have a little mini Sephora palette I keep in my makeup stash, so I could pop that into that. But for right now, I'm putting it back in the packaging because this is why I can't have nice things. <sighs> Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!